Hello, Keith Church. We are excited to let you know that we are once again able to offer in-person worship services at Keith Church, still outdoors for the time being. So this Sunday, August the 16th, weather permitting, we will have one outdoor worship service here in the grassy space behind the gathering uh, at 9 a.m. Now in the event of inclement weather, we will cancel our outdoor service and we will still invite everyone to worship with us online. Everyone is welcome to come to worship with us. However, if you are in the vulnerable age range of over 65, or if you have a medical condition that puts you at a particular risk of complications from infection, or if you'd just rather stay safer at home, we want you to know that we will continue to live stream our worship services on our church's Facebook page, and we'll post them on our YouTube channel as well. We don't want anyone to feel pressured to return before you feel ready. We want you to feel good about coming back whenever you feel it is safe for you to do so. So here's what this Sunday will look like. First of all, it's absolutely essential that everyone who attends is wearing a face mask the entire time while you're on the church campus. If you don't have a face mask, we have plenty here at the church and are happy to provide one for you. Now wearing a face mask is what Jesus' commandment to love one another looks like when we're in the midst of a pandemic. It's really that simple. So if for any reason you are unable or unwilling to wear a mask, we ask that you please stay home and worship with us online. Please don't put us in the position of having to ask you to leave our worship service for the safety of other worshipers. We invite you to dress comfortably and casually. We will be outdoors and it may be warm. We also invite you to bring something to sit on, a camp chair or a blanket. We want you to know that we will not be providing nursery or child care. Children will be invited to sit with their families. And to be aware also that the church building itself will be closed this Sunday. So there will not be any access to our restroom facility. So please plan accordingly. Now you'll enter our worship area from either parking lot. Someone will greet you to take down your name and your contact information and to provide a face mask for you if you do not have one of your own. Uh, then you'll be asked, invited to sit with those with whom you share a household in circles that will be spray painted on the grass at distances of about six feet apart. Even though we may not have seen one another in a while, uh, it's vital for the safety of all of us to maintain a safe distance from one another. This means no hugs, no handshakes, no fist bumps or elbow pumps, no touching. But let's see if we can find creative ways to greet our friends and fellow worshipers from a safe distance. The service itself will only be about 30 to 35 minutes long. We will lead you through a worship service with some music, with no choir or congregational singing note for the time being, with prayer, with scripture, and with a message. We are in the midst of our sermon series on the hit Broadway musical Hamilton, so you don't want to throw away your shot to hear the gospel message inspired by this music. We'll also have some backpack tags and some uh, vinyl stickers for water bottles and electronic devices for our students and for our teachers as a tangible and visible blessing upon them as they're starting up this new school year. Or you can come back this Sunday between 1 and 3 in the afternoon for our drive-through backpack blessing and prayer for our schools, which will be under the portico at the entrance to the gathering. We are looking forward to seeing you again this Sunday. Here's a little triplet to help you remember the main thing as we regather together for outdoor worship this Sunday. We will worship the God of grace with a mask upon our face and at least six feet of space. If we can all do this for the time being, and I'm confident that we can, then we will fulfill what Jesus said was the greatest commandment, to love God and to love our neighbor as ourselves both as faithfully and as safely as we can.